Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at how to solve a um, heat equation with non-zero boundary condition. Okay, so if you want to look at how to solve zero boundary condition, you have to look at my previous video. But this is a solve non-zero boundary condition. Now the heat equation is given by ut equals to uxx. Where the non-zero boundary condition is given by the first one will be sine pi t and the other one will be u1 t equals to cos pi over 2 t. And then the initial condition equals to x1 minus x. So the x is from 0 to 1, so my x interval, this is a finite interval, and obviously t must be greater than 0. So I would say that <coughs> this is called the boundary condition, and this is the initial condition. Okay, so they are non-zero because of this. Okay, this is why they are non-zero. So if it's a zero boundary condition, then u zero t will be zero and u one t will be zero. But now they are non-zero. Okay, so we want to look at how to solve this problem. Okay, so first step to solve this, so we can um, use the solution considered by steady state solution. Where right? steady state solution given by u t when u t equals to zero. So when ut equals 0, you have uxx equals to 0. So integrating this will give me ux equals to a. Integrating second time will give me u equals to ax plus b. Now this is my steady solution equals to ax plus b. This is what you call steady solution happens when ut equals to 0. Okay, now with the given boundary condition, we can start to solve this. So, first condition we consider is when u equals to 0. When, uh, sorry, when x equals to 0. So, we have when x equals to 0 where the condition is u 0 t is given by sine pi t. So when x is 0, we have us 0 t equals to, when x is 0, we have b, which is equals to sine pi t. So this is my b value. Now when uh, x is 1, the boundary condition given by 1 t, which is equals to cos pi over 2 t. So what we have when x is 1, we have us 1 t equals to when x is 1, we have a plus b, which is this one, sine pi t, equals to cos pi over 2 t. So what is a? Therefore, we can say a equals to cos pi over 2t minus sine pi t. Okay, so we are doing really good at this stage. So what we are going to do is plug in into this equation, which is the steady state equation, where we have us xt is given by ax plus b, which is cos pi over 2t minus sine pi t x. Okay, don't forget the x because this is my a here. Okay, so we have this is a x a x plus b. Divide is b, sine pi t. Okay, so this is my steady state equation. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do here, okay, let's. So how to solve this problem? We have to reduce the given equation to a zero boundary condition. So let the big U xt equals to small u xt minus my steady state solution. Okay, which is my u xt minus what is my steady state solution that you have computed earlier on? That gives you um, cos pi over 2t minus sine pi t, which is um, x plus sine pi t. Okay, so this is my us xt. Now, what we got to do, we got to apply the condition again and then find what is uxt. Okay, so when, again, when x is 0, we have u0t. So u0t, u small, us, x is 0, t. So u03 is the left hand side boundary condition which is given by sine pi t minus, so when x is 0, when this is 0, we have minus sine pi t, which gives you 0. So this is will be your new left hand side boundary condition. Now, same thing we have to find the other boundary condition, the right hand side boundary condition, which is when x is 1. Okay, when x is 1, we have u 1t minus us when x is 1 t. So, this is the right hand side boundary condition given earlier on, which is cos pi over 2t minus now. When x is 1, what do I have? I have negative, positive, cancels out, and then minus with cos pi over 2t, which is also gives you 0. Now, this will be my new right-hand side boundary condition. Okay? Now, the only thing we're going to find is the new initial condition. So, the new initial condition can be obtained when, sorry, when t equals to 0. So, okay, so we have u x 0 equals to small u x 0 minus u s x zero okay so what happened here so the initial condition given as x one minus x minus what happened when t is zero when t is zero this is one zero zero so one times x will be minus x so this will give me x minus x squared minus x cancels out that will leave you to negative x squared. Okay, so this is my new boundary condition. So look at the equation now. So we have reduced the non-zero boundary condition to a zero boundary condition as well as a new initial condition. So now all we got to do, we have to solve for the new. So we have a zero boundary condition for ut equals to uxx, u, this is all big U, 0t equals to 0, and u, 1t equals to 0, and then the initial condition, the new initial condition, equals to negative x squared. Okay, the interval is the same, where x from 0 to 1, T has to be greater than 0. 
okay so i have shown on my previous video okay the solution for zero boundary condition is given by when alpha square equals to 1 so there's no alpha here so alpha square equals to 1 now the solution is given by un xt equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n sine n pi x over l right by l is 1 okay l is 1 from here and then we have exponent negative n pi squared t remember my alpha squared is 1 and my lambda for this case is lambda lambda should be uh, let's let's recall lambda n should be n pi over l since l is 1 it's just n pi okay so this is my lambda okay so what happened here now this is the solution we obtained now when x is 0 the only changes here is this one this is new this is new okay this is the same thing for zero boundary condition now when x is z when t is zero okay what happened here we have negative x squared so when t is zero here e to the power zero is one so i have summation n equals to one to infinity a n sine n pi x which is equal to negative x squared now we know that what we know we know that a n this is this is the half range series you have to refer to my lecture note on page 66 if i'm not mistaken where for l is 1 so we have a n equals to 2 over l which is 1 0 to 1 okay now this is my new fx my new fx which is my negative x squared sine n pi x dx so remember i have to write this for your um for your steady state if you have a steady state your fx which is my initial condition i've already substituted this this will be fx minus us so this value here should be here i've already minus it so that's what you have obtained which is for this particular problem you have minus x squared okay now what we got to do here we got to find the integration for a n equals to 2 integrate from 0 to 1 negative x squared sine n pi x dx now i'm going to leave this as your homework okay homework you should be able to show that your a n obtain as this 2 minus 1 n over n pi plus 4 negative 1 n over n pi cube minus 4 over n pi cube okay this is my a n so therefore what is your solution your solution is given by u n x t equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n sine n pi x e to the power of negative n pi squared t where my a n is given by this okay so i hope you can um you can show and integrate this to show this equation okay that's all solution for non-zero boundary condition where we have reduced to a zero boundary condition and then solve it. Thank you.